It's a unique piece of history here in Indiana with nothing like it anywhere else in the United States. The Indiana Medical Museum takes you back to the beginnings of scientific psychiatry and modern medicine. And it's tonight's Living Local Spotlight. Here's Mike Bars. It's a step back in time when medicine, especially that of studying the mind, was really just beginning. It's a unique place. Um, this building was the pathological department of what used to be Central State Hospital. The hospital opened in 1848 as the Indiana Hospital for the Insane, and it was the first mental hospital in Indiana. The original 160-acre grounds once housed over 2,500 mental health patients with dining rooms, storage facilities, laundry buildings, and offices. All that really stands today is the original pathology building. Slated for demolition after they closed in 1968, they were able to salvage the building to preserve an important piece of history. There is nothing else like this in the United States. It's authentic in that sense. And it's, it's very much a time capsule. When you come in the building, you know, we don't have things behind ropes or you know, behind glass. It's, it's very immersive, and, and you're going back in time when you step into the laboratories here. Like the lecture hall for med students. It was also where they viewed autopsies so they could learn more about the internal anatomy and pathology. The table used to be right here where I'm standing. Um, you can see where the, the drain was filled in. So this is a kind of the only room in the building that really was intended to be a museum when it opened and it was a place where medical students and practicing physicians could come and look at examples of the things that they were studying here. Tumors, so these are actual Tumors, brains. lesions, traumatic injuries, congenital defects. And what makes this so unique is that what you see is all the original content from the autopsy table to the records to even brain specimens, all in an effort to get a better understanding of mental health. When we have, you know, medical folks who come in to tour the building, they, they say that all the time. This is just like what we use now, except, you know, we plug it into the wall and it does the work for us. An important step back in the past to shine light on the future. I'm a historian, not, not a psychiatrist, but I think we all recognize that even though we've, we've come a long way, we have a long way to go. And so knowing where we came from and how we got here, I think, can help. Fascinating stuff. That was Mike Barr's reporting. The museum could use your help. They have a capital campaign going on to raise money in the hopes of keeping the building up. Uh, for more information, visit our website, wishtv.org.